I'm now going to introduce Diane Picardi Habadonk. She's a board member, and she's also my wife, but she's a board member for Military Families Speak Out. And the Military Families Speak Out is also a co-sponsor for this event, and they have been for a couple of years. So to, my, Diane will speak about what Military Families does as an organization. So are you there, Diane? Hello and good evening. I'm so glad you all could join us. My name is Diane Picot Havadag. I'm here proudly representing Military Families Speak Out. Who is Military Families Speak Out, you might ask? Military Families Speak Out, also known as MFSO, is an organization of military families across the United States and around the world who are opposed to the wars in Iraq, Syria, and Afghanistan, and also have a loved one who is either currently serving in the military or who has served since 9-11 or who died because of the wars in Iraq, Syria, and Afghanistan. As people with loved ones in the military, we have both a special need and a special unique role to play in speaking out. It is our loved ones who are, have been, or will be on the battlefront. It is our loved ones who are risking injury and death. It is our loved ones who are returning scarred from their experiences. It is our loved ones who will have to live with injuries and deaths among innocent Syrian, Iraqi, and Afghan civilians. The mission of Military Families Speak Out is to advocate for all U.S. troops to leave Iraq and Syria now and to speak out against unjust military interventions. MFSO supports policies that utilize diplomacy over military force. We support the troops and work hard to ensure that their needs are met while they are deployed and when they return home. Veterans for Peace is the 501c3 sponsor for Military Families Speak Out. And last, but certainly not least, we wish to welcome home our troops from Afghanistan. The war is not over for many of them, nor for we, their families. They are still unpacking their experiences, no matter when they came home during the last 20 years. We are doing our best to see that they have what they need to heal. Suicide remains at one in 17 among veterans and active duty personnel. We still have troops in Syria and Iraq, as well as 800 plus locations around the world. Please visit us at mfso.org or facebook.com slash military families speak out to see how you can help. Or better yet, join MFSO if you have a loved one who has served in the military since 9-11. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you, Diane. Yes. We're so we're so glad to have MFSO uh, help in our continued peace arguments and we value your support. Thank you.